We have seen so many laughable claims be made about video games over the years, specifically that video games cause real-world violence and that somehow actions in games can be traumatizing to people. I have played games my whole entire life and I guess I'm just very lucky that a game has never traumatized me, but the debate about video games in real life have come up again because there is a thread where people are saying getting teabagged in a video game is the same thing as being assaulted in real life. I have a bunch of different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with this Game Rant article, and then I have a bunch of tweets to show off. It says social media users are debating whether teabagging in video games should be considered SA. Now, of course, most people read this and think, Wow, who was stupid enough to post a thread like this? But there are a few very special people out there who think that it should be, that teabagging is assault. In online gaming, there are more than a few ways in which players can mess with their opponent. One of the most common ways a player can jokingly troll their opponent is through teabagging. For the uninitiated, teabagging is a gaming term that involves one player, usually in an FPS or a fighting game, rapidly crouching over their defeated opponent. It is assumed that the practice began somewhere around the era of Quake or Counter-Strike in 1999, but teabagging truly spread across the gaming community with the release of Halo Combat Evolved. Now, this is where the conversation starts, okay? Because, yes, teabagging is something that I think 99 out of 100 gamers have experienced at one point or another. If you play any sort of online game, you've probably been teabagged or have teabagged someone. But as this article points out, it's a way in which players can mess with their opponent. Yes, sometimes people take it to the very extremes. They are constantly teabagging those that they've killed in a game. But it's supposed to just be for fun, okay? Yes, I will admit it. Most people will admit it. It's hilarious to teabag an opponent that is very clearly mad that they have lost, that they have been beaten. But that's all it is. It's just a fun way to mess with your opponent. It's not any more serious than that. It says now over 20 years since teabagging began as a practice, some gamers are debating whether it should be considered a controversial action. Specifically, some believe that teabagging counts as SA. To some, teabagging has been seen as a controversial act and it was banned from a Killer Instinct tournament in 2017. Now, we live in a day and age where anything can be seen as offensive, okay? You can go online and say anything bothers you, anything is offensive, and unfortunately, a lot of the times, companies will listen like this. It was banned from a Killer Instinct tournament, but I really don't see it as some controversial act that only terrible people do. It's just using a mechanic in a video game. It's as simple as that. It says the conversation was sparked on Discord when one user joked about being a serial offender when it came to teabagging. I think that most people that have played an online video game have probably teabagged someone at one point or another, or have been teabagged, okay? We are all awful people if teabagging someone in a video game makes you an awful person. And I wanted to head on over to this thread because this is the thread where I found out about the situation. Jake Lucky had tweeted, I don't know who needs to hear this, but teabagging in video games is not SA. And it's a bunch of people arguing in a discord saying, yep. And then we get into games where people think it's okay to teabag and that it's funny when it's really SA. Oh, we live in a gross world. I just want to help beautify it. I try not to laugh 
at situations like this, okay? Because everyone is allowed to have their own opinions. Everyone's allowed to see things differently. But I'm judging this person. I, I am. And I think most of you will. We are living in a clown world where teabagging in a video game is considered the same thing as essay in real life. People are saying things like, I mean, it is essay. If I do not consent and someone rubs their genitals in my face, that's essay. We're not talking about in real life here. Okay, we are talking about in a video game. I have been a gamer my whole entire life. And like I mentioned, I guess I'm just very lucky. I've never been traumatized by a video game. And I'm not saying everyone's experiences are the same in life because they're not. But I truly don't understand how insane you have to be to say that getting teabagged in a game is the same thing as essay in real life. In games, yeah, okay? Things happen all of the time that I don't like or that piss me off. Maybe I'm in a competitive match and someone teabagged me or I died in PvP right before I was about to defeat a boss. I think most people can agree something similar has happened to them at one point or another in a game and it's pissed you off. But to put these things right next to each other doesn't make any sense to me. If I kill someone in a video game, does that mean I'm a murderer in real life? Of course not and most people you would say that to would think it sounds absurd by saying getting teabagged in a game is the same thing as being assaulted in real life is such a slap in the face to people who have gone through real traumatic experiences yeah your feelings might be a little hurt about the game but you weren't physically harmed and of course, this has caused a storm on social media, Moist Critical tweeted out, I just read a large thread about how someone watched their teammate get teabagged in Valorant and it left them traumatized. Holy shit. And then there was this thread um, that was kind of going around this image from this account. Uh, it says, imagine saying that because you won a round, it is okay to teabag someone's corpse in a game. It's not. Unless there's express consent from everyone, including those who have, have to watch it, uh, it's s harassment and it has to end. Now, they do talk about Valorant and Riot, and I could, unfortunately, see Riot being one of those companies that would ban teabagging in their games and their competitive events because they do cave to outrage. Um, but I do not think a lot of companies and a lot of developers would stand by this because I think that most people agree it's simply people utilizing a mechanic in a game and it's really not that serious. I think that this situation is so pathetic because there are people who are defending this argument saying it is, you know, harassment and if you do this you're a terrible person you should even be banned from gaming events which is absurd to me and I'm sure most of you. I don't think that this uh, argument is going to stop anytime soon because it is pretty heated on social media. There are a lot of people talking about it right now. Again, I bet that we're going to see a company like Riot say, you know what, it's banned from competitive events. I'm sure there's going to be a major, major backlash if they did something like that. But no one has done it right now, but it could happen in the future. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.